Episode 100, dude. This is nothing. Up, this is nothing to me. Doesn't matter what the fucking episode is. We bring our fucking fuck, shit, dude. dude. I hear you, man. I was talking about making this a special occasion. Yeah. And then, what, two days ago, texted Matt. I was just like, yo. Let's just rip let's it. Let's just rip a fucking classic epi. Yeah, we're just talking about coming out as bi on the 100th episode. Technically, everybody's bi, dude. Yeah. Have you heard fucking gay people say that shit to you? Uh, There's been... Sigmund Freud thought everyone was bi. That's because he was gay, dude. The Sig- no, no, no. Sigmund, Sigmund Freud, Freud is gay as Sigmund fuck. Freud said everyone's bi, but like the way your parents treat you will like set you to the right path. Like if you identify too much with your mom and like yeah. something, you'll you'll become gay. And if like if if you if, if you conquer your Oedipal stuff, where like you want to fuck your mom real bad, and you want to you're you're worried your dad's gonna chop your penis off out of like spite yeah. for the fact that you're trying to like push him out of the house and bang your mom as a four year old. <laughs> if you navigate those rivers correctly. You'll come out straight. Straight. Yeah. You'll come out straight as fuck. Just, According to Sigmund, just Freud. love pussy. You'll just love pussy. Yeah. So, but you what gotta... if your mom's not hot? You still want to fuck her? Because no, I have some he... friends that had some beat ass moms. Yeah, but I mean, like thick. Moms. Think about how many days no fap a baby's on. You haven't jerked off eternity. ever, dude. Yeah, eternity no fap. You're sucking titties all day. So you can't even. You're edging. You you're being, your mom's come. edging you, dude, all day long. Just letting her suck your tits. Especially lactating tits are pretty hot. Oh, Something about lactating tits God, that gets dude. me fucking going. Dude. I love it, dude. Makes me want to fucking pop. Dude. Don't get me started, dude. Do you pop when you see lactating I pop, tits? Dude. I actually used to look up pregnant porn for a little bit. Really? Yeah, I had a little. I, had a little I saw pregnant. one a while ago and it stuck with me. I Good or bad, it. it was in my head. <laughs> I saw a pregnant lady get fucked, like tag teamed by like an old guy. Oh yeah, it was weird, tough. man. It was weird. That's tough. I yeah. I would at least hope that in the pregnant pregnant porn that I'd watch that they treat the lady and the unborn with some respect. Yeah, she was, there yeah. is a child present. There was a baby in there. There's a baby there, so I'd hope they're at least treating that baby with a little respect. Damn, that was one of my first jokes. I just remembered it. <laughs> I was like, I, I had a three way because I fingered a pregnant chick. <laughs> That's a sick first joke. Yeah, that was one of my best jokes. I gotta bring that back. <laughs> you got it. It's dude. a sick joke. <laughs> I used to have a joke about uh playing house when i was a little kid i'd be like dude i don't know i used to play house with this girl and like i don't know we were like six years old and i was like i don't know what the fuck was going on in her house so she would just like throw shit at me call me a cheater and like i'd she would like hit me and all this stuff and then everyone was just kind of like uh, kind of laughing i'm like but you know i showed up every day the pussy was off the hook dude <laughs> this was like what I was like, I kept coming back. The pussy That's was too sick. good. And it never worked. That's a great joke. <laughs> no, no. That's a really funny joke. I did it a couple of times. And people were just like, yo, bro. Because I was talking about two six-year-olds boning in like a dysfunctional. Yeah. <laughs> also, it kind of sounds like you were an old guy. No, I was. And like the kid was resisting rape. <laughs> it's like she would throw stuff and scream at me. Try to escape. No, I was, uh, I was in the frame of being a six-year-old. and being Either way. Great living, joke. Living out this. Abusive relationship because of the pussy. Speaking freaks. of great jokes, I was just in D.C. this weekend. Oh, my God. Let it, let it fly, dude. It was time. It was time for the Allah. You dropped the fucking The Allah, Allah impression to fucking make it. You fucking gave it wings. Fucking sold out show in D.C. <laughs> I was doing great. I had a good set. Yeah. Uh, there was no host, so it was just me <laughs> opening for Soda all weekend. Cold, cold open, which, dude. Which is tough, but. Damn. Thankfully, they were all bonfire fans. And Matt Shane's Secret Podcast fans. Mm-hmm. Shout out to the Bulls who showed up. You know who you are. Yeah. That's like uh, the rebel faction, dude. It shows is. up at the end of Braveheart when like this whole other squad comes up and they're like, who are these fucking hapless warriors? And they're like, oh, wait, they're on our side. Sick. They're like, we like the Secret Podcast. Dude. Anytime it do, at a show, people are like, yo, for real, though, the podcast is sick. Every time, I'm just like, damn. That's awesome. So <laughs> I, start, I was like, set's going pretty well. Mm-hmm. I was leaning in hard on politics, which yeah. is weird. But I was making fun of them for all being super liberal. It's tight. Which is funny because they, they're usually good sports about it. That's good. They were the whole well, they weekend. Have to be. The whole weekend, every time I got on stage, I'd be like, DC, dude, you guys are liberal. It's fucking gay, dude. You guys are all gay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but then I was just, just feeling myself, dude. I was like, I can pull this off. I can do it. Baby girl was in the audience. Oh, she boy. loves the Allah impression. That's all you need, dude. I was like, I'm going to do this for you. Watch, watch your fucking man work his art. First time I ever did the joke really on stage, like at a real show. Yeah. I'm going to close with it. Damn, dude. Here comes the closer, dude. Hard bomb. <laughs> Hard bomb. Like, people were very upset. 
And you had nothing else to. Usually you have like a something in the chamber because you don't. I know you don't like getting off stage with the fucking. Yeah, yeah. Well, I did. I did. I know you'll stay. Still hit the fucking sixty nine. Your dad. I was like, all right. Well, fuck it. Fuck it. Ripcord this thing. Yeah. Because I've always uh, that was always something I admired about you stand up. Like if I have my last joke in my head, I'm doing this. However it goes, it goes, and I'm getting off, and I would just go. Oh, oh, oh fuck okay bye and then like <laughs> i noticed you'll stick around you're like you just refuse to have it you refuse can't let go on that I, I can't let go on a bomb dude <laughs> it's the most embarrassing thing to be like all right well that's my time thank you yeah just like, well, pretty that, well that yeah. didn't go well uh yeah uh but this is you know classic so you setup pulled up, you pulled it up out of 69 like, you're dead a little but people were like angry that i made fun of Allah. really yeah People, Why? Like there were dudes. Why are people so defensive? There was Allah? like, so let's say the room was probably like 150. Mm-hmm. Uh, probably about 10 dudes were just dying. Yeah, dying laughing. Hilarious. The rest of the room was visibly upset, audibly, really? initially audibly upset. Like oh, yeah. What? I was like, do you guys like impressions? They're like, yeah. Because again, I was having a decent set at this point. Yeah. They were like, yeah, this will be funny. I was like, I'll get out of here on this. Do you guys like impressions? They're like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, this is Allah, and then instant groans. Still some laughs, though. They were like, this could be funny. Yeah. And then when the second one, I was like, this is Allah on 9-10 calling Osama bin Laden. The whole place just went dead silent, dude. Just dead silent. <laughs> and then I sped through it because I was failing. Yeah, of course. Like, I was like, oh, are you guys doing it? Oh, man, you guys are crazy. I'll get you pussy for this. Uh. Oh, yeah. That was the first time I ever did that. <laughs> oh, so you didn't give... Sometimes, too, like, I'll do something that won't work, and then, like, a month later, I'll try it, and it's just fucking... I did crushes. it two days later in Baltimore, and it did it did really well. Yeah. But I set it up in the context of, I just bombed with this. Do you guys want to hear it? Then it's funny. Maybe you needed... That was then the fucking sacrificial lamb you needed to give this thing birth. But, boy... You need to call a dubuk into existence, dude. You can't just let that fly. You need to call what? You need to call a dubuk into this. <laughs> you say, hang on, I have no idea what you're saying. A dubuk, dude. It's, <laughs> it's like a Jewish uh, spirit that, like... It's like a Jewish ghost. There's Jew ghosts called what? Dubuks. Dubuks? Dubuks. Dubuks or something. You know, there was some movie I watched. It was like... Babadook? There's Babadook, but there's Dubuks. There's Babadooks and Dibbucks? Dibbucks, yeah, dude. Dibbucks. Dude, don't start with this because it's already spooky out. I know, dude. How spooked have you been? I bought a pumpkin. You bought a pumpkin? I bought a pumpkin, dude. I'm going to carve a really spooky jack. What are you going to carve into it? Just a real jagged eyes and crooked teeth. It's going to be so spooky. What, are you going to make it Asian? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I said. <laughs> well, you know what's funny, though, about your set is that I just read a study that begs to differ. In ter- well, you had a nice little sample size in terms of the crowd, but it's like, who's car- compartmentalizing? Who's sitting in the crowd and being like, oh, fuck, this is so funny. And there's like, like, I can't say it. There's a lot of people who won't say that. They did a study recently. I meant to look at this sample size, but it was like tens of thousands of people and they from all races, genders, all this stuff. And they asked, like, is PC culture, can it be problematic? And is hate speech problematic? And like... I think like 65, 70% of people were like PC culture can be Is this from that Jordan Peterson debate? No. This was this Remember was when they brought that up? When? The Jordan Peterson versus the black dude? Mm-mm. This At was, the beginning, they had a poll. Who, Michael Eric? No, 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 no. This That's is, what I wasn't sure if it was that. No, this was like a scientific, uh, I guess, qualitative study nice. where they just ask people stuff. I did notice, like, first off, after the show... Almost everyone I talked to was like, that was hilarious. That joke was hilarious. Exactly. There were people holding back laughter. Yeah. But there were also three hot chicks in the very front row that were... They were like... None too pleased. Hold! Yeah. Yeah, they can fuck up some laughter, dude. The hot chicks that were like, I can't believe you're saying this right now. Yeah, that'll spoil That'll spoil the milk, dude. I'm like, listen to the joke. Don't fucking... You just heard Allah at the beginning, and they were like, no. Should have fucking stage dive, dude. dude. You should have gave a fucking Why do feminists elbow? love Allah, dude? Dude, I don't, I mean, it's... That's because, you know why? Because fucking BBGs love naughty bees, dude. And Allah is the ultimate fucking naughty bee. I mean, for sure, If dude. there's a naughtier bee out there, I That's, don't know who it is. You should become the Jordan Peterson of, like, just explaining why Allah is so important for naughty bees to, like, get themselves together. Dude, dude. naughty bees, think of what Allah... If you map the levels of meeting onto Allah... Dude, think of what Allah <laughs> fucking... Ali, dude, think of what Allah fucking brings to the naughty bees. Swords. True. Running with your dogs. Till the death, Just yeah. running with your boys. Yep. Treat bitches like fucking oh property. My, dude, yeah. Fucking bomb shit. Blow shit up, dude. That's yeah. as naughty as it gets. That's that's definitely the Allah Old Testament, dude. 
<laughs> is the Quran split in Old and New Testament? No, it's just straight up just, fucking naughty just bay, dude. Straight up. It's fucking. a naughty book. <laughs> it might be the original. What's that one book everyone reads? The Game. What that, is that like? That a, was like a pickup artist book. It's called The Game. A lot of people read that. Yeah, it's pretty much but, Max Tucker Max. It, <laughs> Allah might be Tucker Max, dude. He's like, yeah, and then you get pussy. <laughs> oh yeah. One time I fucked this chick and she shit herself. He's such a, Tucker <laughs> yeah, Max is yeah. such a liar. <laughs> I fucking hate him. That ONA is like one of the best. Oh yeah, when they called when, him out, when like, Tucker Max did comes you? into the studio did and he you? starts, t- they're like, "Tell us a story." And then yeah. while he's telling it, they start to be like, "Did you? <laughs> oh, is that what happened?" And he's such a fucking loser. He keeps telling it. Yeah, he sucks. Oh, but so the study, they found that like sixty percent of people they asked like from all races, they, they even broke it down like racial group wise. Like maybe yeah. it's just like all white people think it's not problematic, but it came out to where like again like sixty five percent of people thought it was problematic from all race groups. Except for black people who was like 63% thought it was problematic, so it was slightly less. And then they asked if, if hate speech is problematic. And like 83, 85% of people were like, yeah, definitely problematic. Still a fucking 15 kicking around like, well, it depends really. Hate <laughs> speech is funny. <laughs> <laughs> but what was interesting is the people who were like, like PC culture is super, super important. Overwhelmingly are white women with master's degrees and above who make over $100,000 a year. And then on the flip side, people were like, fucking PC culture is ruining this. Yeah. Typically white people on uh, just like another economic spectrum, just of like different values. So this is basically a battle of white people is what the study came up with is like, of course it is. Most people don't give a fuck. This is just white factions of white people arguing. And like the rest, it's of course it is It's called like the tired majority or whatever. And there's just like, all right, guys. Like two thighs, di- very of, two tired. thighs, two thirds of the country is just like, you guys done with this shit? Yet? Yeah, yeah, dude. It's pretty. That was crazy. That's what I was trying to tell Dweck the whole time we were making that fucking series. I was mm-hmm. like, dude, just we don't need to be right wing. Exactly. Just right down the middle. Yeah. Because everyone's tired of all this dumb we'll just shit. Make fun of all of it. Yeah. Like everyone's done with this shit. Yeah, for sure. Speaking of, dude, my friend hit me up and was like, yo, the Navy SEALs got a hold of your firefighter sketch, and they were all passing around saying it was the shit, yo. dude. So, yo, shout out Navy SEALs. Damn, what up, dude. boys? That's awesome. Yeah. That made me feel, I was sitting, it was right last night when I was reading that some dickhead talking shit on me online that I sold out to yeah. the right wing and yeah, that I was dude. a fucking failed white comic. And I, and then my boy texted me and was like, yo, the Navy SEALs are praising you. It's like, dude, me and the SEALs are who, like, So who would you rather have, the Navy SEALs praise you or some some dude? Dude. Not, not fucking trashing some dude who's probably projecting his own life failure onto you. It's like, hey, man. Now that me and the Navy SEALs are cool, dude. I mean, you pretty much, you get up at 4.30 in the morning, dude. I'm, it's basically Jocko's boys are being like, yo, you ever hear this? He's a fucking man. Me and the SEALs have very similar regiments. For sure. Like, 100%. For sure, dude. Both discipline out, the, wa- discipline out the wazoo. You want to know what I did today? What'd you do? Nothing. <laughs> no, I didn't do much. I don't think I, I even. Got a I don't think I even like fart at four thirty in the morning in my sleep. My body is just totally <laughs> yeah, shut everything's down. Everything's off. Just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, me and the seals are pretty. I'm pretty much a seal now. I mean, you should see me in basic training. How how was that? I was pretty much a seal hitting the push ups. That's what the thing was. Like I didn't quit because it was too hard. Too easy. It was just a. It was a cakewalk, dude. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. I gotta. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. This is what you guys want me to do? Nah. 100 push ups. Call Please. me when you guys need me to do 1,000. Yeah, right. I'd be at like five and be like, well, I'm trying, man. <laughs> I'm trying so fucking hard. You should have just wore Metal Gear Solid gear and just fucking just like slunk around the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen people get question marks? I should have got a box and hid in it and walked the halls, <laughs> walked the halls at night. Oh, man. I told you, I've told that story a bunch. What? The, like when I knew I was gonna quit during basic, mm-hmm. I just went out and took a shower. Like in the at night, you're not allowed to shout. You're not allowed to get out of your fucking room at yeah, night. Yeah, people hit you with fucking soap bars. Dude, dude, I got out and just went to take a shower in the middle of the night. Because you I was knew like, it, you had an I was like, fuck this. I'm yeah. not going to listen to these fucking yeah. guys. I'm taking a shower. This sucks. How was it? Uh, when I was walking to the shower, they all, like, three drill sergeants came running down the hall and were like, what the fuck are you doing? Get against the wall. So I was standing against the wall and they were like, do you even want to fucking be here? And I was like, no, I'm quitting. Yeah, I'm done. And instantly they're like, oh man, come on. <laughs> it's not that bad, dude. It's like being in like, a fucking... You can do it. Come on, man. It's like being in like a haunted attraction. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop. Like, all right, my bad. So yeah, what's yeah, going yeah. on? As soon as I was like, no, really, I'm definitely quitting. This sucks. They're like, dude, come on. 
it's not that bad. Just get through this. It's fine. It's easy. You can do it. And I was that's like, hilarious. no, I'm getting in the shower, dude. They're like, all right, get in the shower. They oh let me take God, the shower. That's so fucking funny. Yeah. But yeah, dude. Well, that's pretty much exactly what Navy SEALs basic training is, too. For sure. You know what I mean? You can oh, just they can like, let you skate there. You You're like, dude, like, this is too hard. Yeah, they're like, yeah, go ahead. They're like, all right, come on, man. Yeah. You can shower. So that's why I get so emotional when I watch like. Lone Survivor. If you know, dude, if you watch Lone Survivor with me, because those yeah. are my brothers. I hear you. Those are pretty much my brothers. That, dude, that guy was going to come fuck you up, dude. Did you ever Who? see the guy Mark Wahlberg touts around in interviews? Marcus Luttrell? I think so. The guy, the actual Lone Survivor? Yeah. Yeah. He'll, he's on a fuck Yeah, he'll you fucking up. kill me. Did you see when Mark <laughs> brings him around and the guy's like, well, I mean, like, I feel the guy who's interviewing him basically says, like, kind of like doesn't really treat the this guy's situation with as much respect as a guy wants and the dude starts talking and Mark like puts his arm in front of him. He's like, what are you, what are you talking about, bro? It's pretty funny. Damn, Mark Mark's Wahlberg's, a troop. Mark Wahlberg's, Mark's a troop. I mean, that's so dude. ridiculous that he just is like, I'm a troop. He's a troop, dude. He saved he Boston. Sucks. Mark saved Boston during the bombing. What a fucking dildo. And he's a troop, dude. <laughs> Mark Wahlberg is Yo, a dildo. I will say, Wahlburgers is off the hook. You go to Wahlburgers, dude. I just went there the other day. It's so fucking. Did good. you go to the one? The one in Philly. I, I Is there on, any other ones? The one I don't know. The one in Northern Liberty. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. put on a wife beater, dude, and I just walk in. I was like, damn, they probably thought you were one of them. They probably did. <laughs> did you get hooked up? Were they like, here you go, dude? You're a troop. You're a Wahlberg troop, dude. I felt like such a douche. What a fucking <laughs> psycho you, that but guy. It's, is. it's so good, dude. Wahlburgers, I think, is better than Shake Shack. Oh, 100%. I got a new dude to fucking hate. Who? The fucking Rock. Oh, yeah, I've been hating The Rock that. fucking sucks. I've been hating The Rock. I know. You've been, like, messaging him <laughs> that you're going to make him come. <laughs> Isn't that all your Twitter I've was? I've sent him some gay shit, yeah. I sent yeah. The Rock some gay shit. My He's only out. gotten worse, dude. My mom found out and got mad about it. I was I I was so hungover on... Oh, here well, we go. He has I forgot about thing this. With Kevin Hart. He's always like, yeah, what's up, little man? Uh, nah. That's one of the gayest fucking... Yeah. They, those two... Their manufactured bromance might be like the lamest shit. In the oh, my world. God. The... Uh, so, this is... You're going to like this. On Saturday... What is it? Saturday... So, Soder brought the Xbox 360 to DC Respect. because we were like, we're going to fucking plow through our dynasty. Yeah. We have a sick dynasty going. Mm -hmm. And... I was like, this is, we were we were very excited about this, but then I brought baby girl down for the weekend. Ruined it. You think you ruined it with your bro? <clears throat> yeah, I didn't, Did we didn't play Did you play video all. games at all? No, we went out. Dude, baby girls? You think baby girl's going to sit and watch you play Xbox? No. Nah. No, nah, you got to. I want to try this place. I read about it on Yelp. Yeah, yeah, that's baby girl yeah. shit. Yeah. So, that's all their fucking shit. Saturday was actually a sick fucking day. Mm -hmm. So we woke up. You know what we did. I heard you. You know what we did, dog. Then we went. Steamed the walls. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> then we uh say no more you guys were in a hotel hanging yeah, out fucking ball and shit went to swish and listerine went to mouth. the monuments mm -hmm. saw trump you saw him saw trump daddy's helicopter fly by saw it land <laughs> what happened saw marine one saw the trump dog dude damn dude then we went to the washington monument world war ii monument mm -hmm. lincoln memorial yeah went to a bar to watch the notre dame game sick did two shows crushed mm-hmm Went to a fucking EDM concert. At nighttime? <laughs> yeah. Damn, dude. See, I hate That's going. a baby girl field trip, dude. That's Dude, I fucking hate going to all that memorials and stuff. Really? They're actually so cool as fuck. boring. Oh, my nah, God, cool dude. they're cool as fuck. Oh, Go see the Lincoln it. Memorial, dude. I've it's fucking sick. I've done DC with my ex-wife. I did it with my girlfriend. I go. We look at the fucking... I walk into the museum, and I'm just like, Jesus Christ. Have you been there since Trump took office? What happened? It's a new perspective on American no, it liberty. It sucks. Dude. I've been in Lincoln Memorial see... twice. I will look around and go, all right, can I fucking leave? How dare you? I mean, I've, dude, they should take everything in museums and throw it the fuck out. What? It's junk. That's a fucking ISIS. That's that's Naughty B fucking it's junk. 101, dude. It's junk, dude. That's Naughty B 101. It's like, here's King Tut's spoon. It's like, good. Throw it in the fucking trash. It's old as fuck. <laughs> King they, they waste spoon. so much money on that shit. Um, but. So you you went to the museums. So I, this was really funny too because I was wearing this fucking camo hat and like jeans and a hoodie. Mm -hmm. And at one point at the World War II memorial, this wreath fell over because mm -hmm. it was windy you out. Pick it up, and I picked it up like real solemnly. And like while I was picking it up, I was like, definitely people think that I'm like a troop. <laughs> like I look like a fat PTSD doubt troop. Like solemnly fucking restoring this wreath. <laughs> and I was like, dude, this, I'm kind of stealing valor right now. That's so fucking funny. Then we go into the Lincoln Memorial. Sick, dude. 
sucks. You get in there, it's like you see big fucking Ave up there, and behind him, it's like this fucking this serves all as the a, shit. This serves as sides. a temple to a man who saved the Union. Yeah, it's fucking sick. And then the Gettysburg Address is there. I like teared up reading the Gettysburg Address. Gettysburg Address is sick. I say I walk up the steps. I'm halfway. I walk up. I'm like, God damn, it's so fucking crowded. This place sucks. And I get in there and I'm like, You fucking happy? There it is. Take a picture. Come on, let's go. True. All right. And if, I'm fucking out. I hate museums. I hate landmarks. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> You're not totally wrong. If this was year two of me and baby girl's relationship, there's no chance we're doing any of this. I was still in like. I'm interesting mode. For sure, yeah. 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 So Meanwhile, like, actually, I, And you know history, so you're like, well, actually, blah, mm-hmm. blah, blah. She tried to hit me with the fucking... Uh, it's so funny to hear like a younger person's... The information that they're all receiving. Mm-hmm. She's like, Abraham Lincoln was part black. And I'm like, I don't know why people are trying to tell you that. Where no, he wasn't. From? There's also like... Abraham Lincoln was like gay, Native American, black, and white. It's like, dude... Well, what is he? He's a fucking white guy. Okay, I thought Might so. have had some fucking engine in him. Maybe. But it's like... A little bit of Jew. Probably some Jew. I, think he's a little bit Jew. I, I saw I the Jew, Jew in him. I think he's Jewish. Yeah, I think we both see the Jew. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking schnoz, dog. <laughs> I just figured, yeah, I thought he was just like a backwoods Kentuckian, some old white guy from the woods. Yeah, but uh, it's just funny the, the way people are trying to like, say he's gay? modernize history. Because he like slept with some dudes. Oh, he did fuck some dudes. He didn't fuck them. Back then, it was, like, acceptable to sleep in the same bed. Yeah, they had to. Him and Ben Franklin, yeah. there was, like... Him and Ben Franklin were 69 and hard. Yeah, dude. dude. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, because he slept in bed with dudes? Yeah. I've slept in bed with, like, my brothers and shit. It doesn't make you gay. Yeah. I mean, we did gay stuff. Yeah, but... <laughs> yeah. You do some gay stuff. You show each other your dick. You fucking slap I someone's dick. I mean, we dick. sucked each other, dude, but... There's nothing gay about brothers. We were playing in a fucking union, dude. Brothers we had to suck each, each other. other. You gotta save the union. You're gonna have to... <laughs> Dude, you're gonna have to swallow some cum. Wait, so you're telling me historians read his biography and then like he was not like, real historians, no. But they were like reading his biography and being like, "Wait, he slept in a room with a he slept in a bed with a dude." And he goes, "Oh my god!" And they're like, "This is groundbreaking." Yeah, got on the fucking Morse code, dude. Abraham Lincoln's fucking gay. Yeah, but uh, so that's unfounded. I would imagine. Yeah, you heard it here first. Abraham Lincoln, not gay. Not gay, but uh. We go to the show, and then my friend Travis played football with me at Elon. He's mm-hmm. from D.C. He showed up, and I was going to go back to the hotel, Blaze Chronic, yeah, play NCAA with Sodies. Gotcha. Great night. Yeah. Instead, Travis was like, we're going out to this concert. You guys should come. And I was like, Bah. Yeah. What the hell? Like I, you know, I got to yeah. treat baby girl right. Got sent her yeah. to a fucking her. Sh- that's her shit too. Fucking EDM. She likes EDMs. Uh, uh, yeah. How do you like it? Uh, not much. That shit was a nightmare. Yeah, it's pretty tough. Well, it's just people. It know, sucked. It fucking Molly. blew. Just pe- I've been a couple of them. People's come to your face and like, bro, oh, you roll it. It's like no. It was a nightmare, and then I was like, the only way I can enjoy this is if I black out. So I start I start boozing as yeah. hard as I can, mm-hmm. and then Travis. Is like, yo, let's get bottle service. Oh, no. So we got a $250 bottle of vodka. Oh, man. And then he was driving, so he wasn't really drinking. Mm-hmm. Baby girl was already pretty fucked up. Yeah. So now it's just me and a full bottle of vodka that was 250 bucks. And I was like, I was drunk enough that I was like, we can't waste this thing. For sure. I drank a whole bottle of vodka. Damn, dude. And was, d- dude, I was dead. Holy shit. So then the next morning I wake up obviously feeling great very very hungover like the most hungover i've been in a long time did you have another show or were you done sunday we had a show in baltimore Ugh. but i read uh the so rocks you drank a bottle of vodka at an edm concert <laughs> yeah. that's a weird vibe for an edm <laughs> show dude. Yeah, a blacked out <laughs> old dude that's like mad <laughs> i was so mad dude in the bottle service area it was so funny dude there was a there was a there was a the couch next to us was like 10 white dudes mm-hmm. That all had their phones out the whole time taking selfies. Jesus Christ. They got bottle service with like sparklers and shit. When the girl came over, they all gathered around with like oh their camera God. phones out. The The couch over was the sickest couch. It was three Indian dudes. Oh, dude. I didn't want to say. I was like, I, I was like waiting for some Indian bros. Yeah, the Indian bros. VIP. These were also, there were two Indian bros and then one Indian man. Okay. He was a, like a chubby geezer in a full fucking like business outfit. He was there up on the fucking. Models. He was up dancing on the fucking balcony. I was like, "That's the coolest shit I've ever seen." But did, uh, uh, did you hear about the 
the tech in India where like these uh, girls, like either soccer or field hockey team got like these boys came from like the village and were like, show me your bobs. Show me your machines. They demanded bobs. They demanded bobs. (laughs) Dude, if an Indian demands bobs. They demanded bobs and machines in, in India and these girls were flippant and were like, why don't you guys go back and fuck you guys? Da, 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 da. These dudes came back with the, their squad and their, some of their sisters from their village, and they savagely beat this sports team with canes and bamboo sticks. They were like, you don't want to send Bob's and Vagine? <laughs> they hit them with canes? <laughs> beat the fuck out of them with bamboo sticks. Well, fucking show Bob's. <laughs> dude, show Bob's, I was dude. just laughing about all the fucking uh, Bollywood dance numbers, dude. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> definitely throws that for a loop. When a guy dances, the girl's like, no, seriously, I'm riding the subway. Leave me alone. He's just like, bamboo stick. He's like, swap, swap, swap. I'm not today. Yes, fucking dude. Whap, whap. Indians are fucking hilarious. When Indians want pussy, dude, they want fucking pussy. Now, they demand the fucking Bob's. If they want to pick a Bob's, it's like... You better, you better send Bob picks. Dude. You better have at least, or have like some sort of like trash can lid to block a bamboo stick if you're going to talk shit about not sending Bob's back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I was like, I think I'm the only person who read that article and kind of chuckled to himself. I was just like, everyone's like, this is disgusting. I was like, ha, ha, ha. yeah, it's awesome. Fuck, like, dude. And even some of their sisters came back and helped. Fuck, they must have said some fucking really mean dude, shit. So I wake up. I'm sorry. Go I'll, I'll go back to this. No, but please. I've been trying to find the rocks Instagram. And yeah, that's how this all started. Gayest shit. So this is the morning you woke up. So I woke up as hungover as possible. That was a good backstory for that. Yeah. Yeah. I woke up the most hungover I've been in a long time, laying in bed looking at Instagram, and I'm looking at the rocks Instagram. And it's the gayest oh, shit in the world. My God. He like takes pictures of like because he has cheat days mm-hmm. once a week where he'll eat like. 30 cookies and then like talk about it and be like i worked my ass off for these delicious cookies it's like dude shut up you're such a dork but this one is a picture of him about to work out yeah and it says i'm nice but i don't play nice ever wow i chalk my calluses up get to work and fucking disrupt okay rock fucking what a fucking dildo yeah man fucking keep working out your home gym dude it's like go for it (sighs) Yeah, he's, I was. I've I've been turned off by his stuff a lot. Toss in fucking anxiety and depression of an immense hangover, and he's talking about a guy just disrupting and a jack dude. That's like, fucking... I'm nice, but I don't play nice ever. <laughs> it's like, dude, you're like 50. Shut the fuck yeah, up. You're on fucking male testosterone. I chalk therapy. my calluses up, get to work, and fucking disrupt. It's like, well, dude, if I was taking fucking steroids, disrupt, dude, if I was taking like testosterone therapy, I'd probably be waking up at five o'clock and chalking up my calluses too. But it's like, I have to, I have to rely on my normal hormonal profile because I'm not a fucking psycho. <laughs> so it's like, Hey, yeah. If I shot fucking 2000 cc's into my ass every morning, I'd be up on Instagram. Like I want to fucking get up. Here's his hashtag Sunday cheat meal. Cookie train rolls on. <laughs> That's so such a. Uh, I'll go to hell for this one, but not before I take these cookies to Pound Town while watching the OG Trailblazer himself, Quincy Jones doc on Netflix. Love it. I, I mean, need to have tequila one day with this brilliant man. If you ain't cheating, then you ain't eating, my friends. The fact that he's trying to fuck get him, you. The, tra- the fact that he's trying to like, I can't even think of a way to say it, but like, social media commoditize his whole like I like cookies. It's like, dude. Fucking eat some cookies and shut the fuck up about it. You don't have to turn this into a big thing. Yeah, he's eat like, your fucking. Cookies. I'm not nice. I'm nice, but I don't play nice ever. Okay, Instagram model. Yeah, you fucking yeah. faggot. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> sorry, I shouldn't be on the air right now. <laughs> shouldn't even be on the air right now. <laughs> I mean, I've been saying faggot too much again. I'm a, my bad. Yeah, you, dude, you're a fucking. You're only human, dude. You don't play nice, dude. I don't. Play, I I am nice, but I don't, don't play, play nice, nice ever. <laughs> I'm not gay, but I do say faggot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, so that was uh, that was my hangover. Just spent reading, <laughs> looking at the rocks Instagram with one eye, just fucking laying in a hotel bed naked, just fucking piece of shit. That's so funny. There was yeah. a uh, there was a street. There's a street in Philly called Farragut Street, and I was navigating my girlfriend, and I was like, here, make a left on Faggot Street. And she's like, that's not what it's called. That's not what it's called. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. That's what I thought it said. <laughs> Damn, Bay's getting mad when you say faggot. It's so funny. They hate it, dude. I had a BB girl get mad on the way home from a show, and I was like, I said faggot, and she yeah. like freaked out. Yeah, they get mad. I was like, you need to stop saying that. Don't say that. Yeah. What's funny, too, is when they eventually, which she probably will, one day she'll get mad, she'll say it, and you go, ooh. Yeah, what was that? What was that about? Yeah. That's not a nice word. No, it's not a nice word. They'll say it. When a girl says it, it's worse. 
Dude. When a girl says anything racist or homophobic, yeah, it's, it's, it's gross. Because they're not funny. True that. That's the problem. True that. Well, it's also weird when <laughs> girls get racist. It's like, where the fuck are you coming up with this? Yeah. I had that when I was talking old about. Old daddy sat you on the lap, dude, and fucking gave you the fucking yeah, lessons, dude. he gave dude. you the fucking gave Old the... Testament, dude. <laughs> he gave you the naughty be a lot, dude. girls get racist, I'm like, what? Yeah, it was like the time I was talking to my ex, and I was like, would you fuck a black guy? Mm-hmm. And she was like, no. And instantly I was like, that's weird. Yeah, what the It's fuck? weird? What are, you, what, are you, what are you talking about? Why wouldn't you? You wouldn't fuck a hot black dude? She would. She would. She was just. She just saw her fucking racist daddy. She was like, "What does racist daddy want to hear?" <laughs> I, no, they're gross. I was like, "Yeah, yeah getting me hard." Racist daddy. <laughs> I'm her fucking big snoring racist daddy, baby. <laughs> Get answer the question right. Answer this correctly. Actually, that question either way gets big racist daddy hard. Either way, that's a problem. <laughs> She's like I love fucking black di- big yeah. racist daddy's. Like, oh yeah, god. Here. You like when they punish you? <laughs> I like watching you get hurt. <laughs> Makes me aroused. I want a big black dick to hurt you, baby. <laughs> my little baby girl. <laughs> oh, oh my fuck. god. Oh yeah. my god, dude. We, you have to. That's the best thing you can do for your comedy career is come out as bi. I am bi. Good. I showed soda my dick this weekend. Did you really? Yeah, it was How an accident. Like it? it was an accident. It was that really was an funny. Accident. Uh, so I sleep naked, as you know. We were yeah. sharing a room yeah. the first night. So you guys were Abraham Lincoln in? We Abraham Lincoln, yeah. queen bed. Pushed them together? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I stood up. I was naked, and I was like, could you throw me a towel so I could get... And I like was holding it up in yeah. front of me <laughs> like a like a matador. Yeah. But I didn't know the bottom was still on the bed. Oh my! <laughs> so it was literally I'm just standing here with my dick out, and he was like, "Dude, your dick's is totally out." <laughs> and it, was, it was just a flaccid donger just hanging straight down. <laughs> I was imagining him seeing your dick more as like a, like you were laying in the sheets, and like it was almost like a, it was almost like an aquatic animal. How it comes to surface, you just rolled <laughs> over, and your dick came and then went back onto the blanket. <laughs> Just surfaced. Yeah. Your dick surfaced above the black. Gray white shark came right down. Breached. <laughs> just breached. Put it in slow mo. That's Nat sick. Sorry, fucking dude. I'm telling you, you should do bisexual jutsu, dude, and just I'm... have that be your shadow clone. Do you watch uh, a? <laughs> no, do you watch Naruto at all? No. You gotta start watching Naruto. Naruto I started... like Naruto, the anime with the fucking. Wait, which one's the massage that's porn? Oh, uh... Nuru. Nuru, not Nuru. It's Naruto. It's not, I'm more it's not a, porn. Uh, it's right. not porn. It's Naruto. Well, if it ain't porn, I'm not fucking with Asians. You know nah, what I'm talking dude, about? N- not with you know Naruto. What I'm talking about. No, because I fuck, yeah. I didn't fuck with Naruto hard, dude. You do? I love it. You like anime? I, I've always liked that. I've liked All Pokemon. Right. Well, it's not anime. It's Japan. I guess it's anime, dude. It's it's just these guys and they do like jutsu. jutsu is like if you have power, so it's like. You'll do like shadow clone jutsu, and like you and I'll be squaring off, and I'll be like, hup, 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 and they're like, like the whole time they're staring at each other, it, it listens to their internal monologue, and they'll be like, his jutsu is strong. Where did he learn that? He is no match, dude. It's so fucking funny. He is no match for mine. And every time they, like, when they finally, they're always trying to trick you. They're ninjas, dude. Mm-hmm. So, like, dude, the ninja code is so fucking sick. How, like, you just walk around the woods, and like, all you want is people to learn about how sick of a ninja you are. You just go from village to village, and you hear people's stories, and you're like, that's so dishonorable, dude. And you fucking avenge them and go find who they're fighting. And when, yeah. you, when you find your enemy, and like they th- they think they have you, and they're like, huh, I... Here, they tell you every, their whole plan of what they did, and then you sit there, and at the last second, dude, you hit them with fucking shadow jutsu, break out. And right before you're about to hit them, you're like, oh, this is what I did to get out of your thing, you fool. And the, dude, it's so... And you hit them. Fucking crack them, dude. And anytime someone gets killed, it just... Fades to like a little blood shot. It goes away and she goes, bloop. And it's like, we got, dude. It's- that's kind of like, do you think that's what we did in World War II with Japan? What? They were like, we will use our sneak attack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pearl Harbor attack, go. <laughs> yeah. They went, hup, 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 and then the USA was like, we saw your sneak attack. <laughs> we have the we have bombs. We actually organized your sneak attack. <laughs> yeah, we secretly allowed you to do that so we could go to war with you. <laughs> you fools, dude. <laughs> uh, Hiroshima Jutsu. Dude, Do you think we jutsu to Hiroshima? You gotta watch Naruto, dude. It's my favorite. I can't. I can't. I can't watch. Show. I can't watch anime at all. Dude, it's the best. It's just this dude. It's this poor ninja from this village, dude. His parents don't are be racist. Poor ninja from this oh, I village. Oh, I thought you said something else. <laughs> no, <dude. laughs> 
<laughs> you almost got hard, dude. Yeah, I was like, oh, got big daddy. You got your fucking big racist daddy going, dude. I was like, is that what the podcast is now? Are we allowed to say it now? <laughs> dude, you know what's funny? I think on many episodes ago, you said something about like having a fear of inadvertently just one day saying the N word. Yeah. Where you're like, you're like, did you ever worry about just like blurting it out? And, like, that's gotten in my head now where I'm like, oh, my God, dude. Yeah, like, you could end your life at any moment. Just like, in s- church, screaming the end. <laughs> <laughs> now that I, like, I'll sit in settings where I'm like, that is kind of scary. Like, what if something weird just happens in my brain? I just scream that out. And it's like, it's fucking terrifying. Yeah. I mean, I, the shock value, most people would just be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And you'd have, like, 10 seconds to get out. But if you fully <laughs> erupt it, we're like, oh, I can't stop fucking saying it. <laughs> That's such a funny thing to put in someone's head. Yeah, that's a, that'd be a sick. Like, you remember the movie Liar Liar? Mm-hmm. I wish the kid's <laughs> wish was that Jim Carrey could only say the N word, or that he would. <laughs> yeah, dude, that'd be a whole different movie. That's a good movie. That would be. A what whole would you different. call that movie instead of Liar Liar? Uh, <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. Episode one hundred. Episode hundred. Damn, dude. Episode hundred is sick. Yo, shout out Max King. What up, boy? What up, King? What up, Kingy? What's up, bro? He's he's a chill ass bull. He asked me to shout him out. That's what's up. Uh, um, let's take a break. Yeah, let's take a break. Yeah, sick. I gotta blow my nose. <laughs> we back, baby. Yes, what up? What up? What up? Had to blow my nose. I did. I just got the the four one one on the Dakota territories from our friend James Mashuli. What about the Dakota? I was territories? asking him how his socialist baby girl's doing. He's got a socialist baby girl. I know. I heard that. Yeah, he's got a full on commie baby. How's she doing? She's good. He said she's pissed right now because. They just said that Native Americans can't vote in North Dakota. What? Yeah, it's sick. They blocked the Native American vote? I think so. According to James Mishuli in the hallway right now. Shit. <laughs> That's where I get all my news. Who do you think blocked the Native American vote? Trump. You think he blocked Trump it? Trump daddy was probably like, you guys, come on. Why can't they vote? Something about they don't have addresses. <laughs> they don't have P.O. boxes on the teepees, I guess. Yeah, dude. On their fucking tent. Holy shit, It's dude. fucked up. Yikes. Anyway, what's up? Chilling. I was actually laughing about that. How, Shout out to the Dakota Territories. Did you hear about Clinton? How she came out and was like, in an interview, like, Bill having sex with Monica Lewinsky wasn't abuse of power. Uh-oh. People forget. People are like... That kind of contradicts everything, doesn't it? Uh, I mean, I don't know why no one talks about him <clears throat> fucking allegedly raping chicks, but I guess that one was, like, set in stone. But, yeah, Hillary was like, she was an adult. She was, I mean. True. Then you got to fucking reinstate a lot of other dogs, dude. You got to reinstate yeah. Lauer. Matt Lauer was out there fucking abusing his power. Yeah. For some reason, when Big Billy did it, dude, it was just When kinda... Big Billy did it, it was fucking, <laughs> it was consensual. I think she, what was she, 18? Lewinsky was, like, 18. And you got to reinstate Louie. The reason that was such a thing was because he was Piece exerting power. power. Yeah, I was kind of. I heard that today, and it was just kind of. It's so funny because when they're like, "Well, Hillary and Bill, please sit down." It's like that was your girl, dude. Not yeah. too long ago, you loved her. Not too long ago, that was your bae, dude. That's Hillary Cavanaugh, dude. She had a couple fucking misdeeds under her belt. Yeah, that's that's yeah, that's great. Hilarious. What do you think about the fucking Kanye Trump? White House the summit. What do you think about the summit, dude? Oh man, the That's world. The, some of the best leaders and the best minds in that the world. That was a love fest, dude. Think of the head of every race right now. Okay. Trump daddy controls yeah. white people. Okay. Kanye, leader of the black community. Okay. Kim Jong, leader of the Chinese. Yeah. All the powerful races are combining to form the three most badass that's the only, dogs. That's the only three, right? <laughs> uh, and the North Dakota. <laughs> who's, in, who's in charge of uh, like the old world engines from India? Um. I don't know. I'm going to say the dude from Silicon Valley. Oh, you're saying Indians? Yeah. Like, like uh, old world Indians. Yeah, yeah, like computer Indians. Yeah. <laughs> Not drunk Indians. Yeah. Computer Indians. Yeah. Um, yeah. Kamal. That guy. Kamal. Got you. Yeah, definitely. Dude, you hear about fucking Brazil? No, what are they doing? They have a, they're, they're like in the process of having like a military dictator win the election. Hell yeah. Yeah, he's like, people are like, this is Brazil's Trump, and this guy's like, He's not. He, he's basically like he'll like come out in a speech and be like "fuck faggots." Oh, blah, blah, blah. Like I saw that, and he was like, "Press, you better hope I don't win, or I'm gonna fucking kill you guys." Yeah, like he's for real. <laughs> yeah, like, he's like real Trump. He's a military dictator. He's the one. He's what they are afraid Trump is. Mm-hmm. He's what Trump would be if he could. Yeah. If he was in Brazil. Yes, but the re- what they're saying is is that 
people are doing this because they're like sticking it to the system, which is like if you think about it, it's like Hillary, Bush, Clinton, all those people. That's like yeah. the system. And people elected Trump because they're like, fuck those guys. This guy's not a politician. Yeah. He does a shit. And that's happening in a bunch of other countries. And these like, but they're putting in like right wing dictators. <laughs> it's like, no good. That's, yeah, that's but it's no like good. that's imagine like if that's how much people don't like you. To where, like, this guy comes out, and he's like, I'm going to fucking murder the press, fuck it. Everyone's like, yeah. Yeah, dude, fuck Or at press. least enough people to vote him yeah. in. I mean, that's... Also, Trump's had a profound effect globally. Yeah. I mean, the fucking... Oh, on politics? Yeah, I mean, obviously, yeah. Like, yeah. And the fact that I was... I don't know if I said this last week, but people say fake news. Mm-hmm. Oh, all the time. In other languages. Yeah, dude. In, except they say it in English. Like like Cristiano, fake news? Cristiano Ronaldo got accused of rape like hard, really? and his his immediate defense of it was like, she did say no, but I could tell she wanted it. And people were like, "Whoa, dude, you can't say that!" And, he, and then he was like, "Oh, this is fake news." That he was like, "No, nah, it's just fake news." Whoa, yeah. he said she said no, but he could tell she wanted it. Wow, I think it was one of those Aziz scenarios yeah where she was like hanging in his apartment like no yeah i mean that's like, like, right you could leave and she's like no and he's like yeah. are we fucking yeah are we like, fucking he's I'm, like i'm christian ronaldo is just like look i'm about to come in 30 seconds like what's going <laughs> yeah, you on you gotta get out of here someone's of catching way. this seed <laughs> uh and then i was watching this documentary on Spain on like Barcelona's mm-hmm. independence and shit, and they would like argue back and forth. You'd be like, blah, 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 fake news, blah, 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 blah. yeah, what? it's pretty great. Yeah, fake news is a yeah, dude, they're coming, man. It's like they're fueling the fire for right wing dictatorships. I hope not because that's dude, if we get if we hit if we actually get hit with World War Three and we actually have to worry about the apocalypse mm-hmm. and our factions, what now the... I'm afraid now I'm now my greatest fear in the apocalypse is your brother fucking me up. But he's gonna come he's as gonna... soon as as soon as nukes start flying. I have a feeling Billy's gonna kick down my door and just beat the shit. Out he of me. might. That might be the last thing he does on Earth. What if though it just is some weird thing where like all of the right wing dictators just fucking meet in jail and they're like, "Oh, dude, you're fucking chill as hell. Oh, dude, you're fucking sick." So you think the new world order and peace in the world is gonna be a bunch of sick ass right wing dictators <laughs> like Trump and Kim Jong chilling. Kim Jong un Duarte from the Philippines. This Brazilian baller dude. Yeah. They're like, dude, I just fucking killed so many drug like, dealers. That's fucking sick. Like, dude. I'm so tough on crime. They're just back and forth, dude. That'd be so funny. Yeah, I mean hopefully it won't work. Hopefully right wing dictators <laughs> save the world. <laughs> I got a feeling they won't. I know. I know. <laughs> but yeah, that's been uh that's been an ongoing thing. Nice. And then all these people, a lot of it too is like it's the reason these guys, part of it, they can propel themselves to power so hard is because like the hard left is so fucking annoying that if you oppose them, people are just like, yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes. It's like what I was saying about. Just like the top of a roller coaster, you're like, yes, 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 yes. You see the top, you're like, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the whole way up, you're like, this is going to be so sick. That's just sick. We're still going? We're still going higher? Holy fuck. We're going high, huh? Oh, that's a straight drop. That is straight down. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, it's pretty... Uh, That's what I was telling uh, Claire when she... Like, last night, she was mm-hmm. like, you actually like Donald Trump. I was like, yeah. no, stop. Don't do yeah. that. She was like, I can't believe it. And, like, was mad. I was like, I just hate the people who hate him. Fair people enough. who are, like, most open about hating Donald Trump tend to be fucking douchebags. Yeah. Douchebags. They suck, dude. Well, yeah. it's funny, because then, like, I'll watch... I'm like, I'm going to watch a Trump rally, dude. He, there's no way he can I was I was watching Trump rallies. I've watched a couple of them. They're I'm, hilarious. They are funny. Then he does the same thing. Watch it. Watch a Trump he rally. He has, like, a, an act? He has an act. He's oh been running God, an act. So I've, I watched... I was a little high, and I watched, like, six Trump rallies in a row. <laughs> same exact setup. But he within five or six minutes, at the five or six minute mark, mm-hmm. he points to the media in the back and has everybody turn around and boo them. What? Usually within at the five or six minute mark. So I like just, I like skip because there's always like a fucking half an hour of just like the flag and it's like, the <laughs> yeah, fuck, yeah. come on. So like, yeah, and... so I'm like, come on, I'm skipping forward. Yeah. And then I was like, I skipped to when it was just like, we got to build the wall. We got to build, and there's a chant like, build the wall. And I'm like, Dude, all right. That's where they get all of his most outrageous quotes and shit. Mm-hmm. Like when he made fun of Ford. What did he say about Ford? He was like, she doesn't know when it was, what the year was, what she was doing at the party. Oh, yeah, What yeah. does she know? Like, yeah, all that. And the, the crowd's laughing. Yeah. So he he goes out and does these shows. Yeah. He's 
he's a touring comedian. He uh, runs he an is? hour every night in an arena. He's Kevin Hart, dude. He's a little Kev. Does he get paid for his talks, or is that no? Nah, I don't think he can. I didn't think he could either. I mean, he probably does. I mean, he's probably gonna win again because of him. He's. Did I anyone would... do these kind of like tours when they were president? I don't really remember this. Yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking. I don't remember Obama. I mean, Trump from day one, he loves it. Oh, he loves Jesus running. Christ. He loves running his hour. He does. He's dude. working on a solid hour right now. I, I've seen it. They got to give him a Netflix and just have, like, all right, dude, let's see what the fuck you're talking if, about. Hopefully Netflix comes up with enough money to buy him out of office and be like, dude, we're just going to give you a series. Yeah. Just <laughs> kill it, dude. You <laughs> say whatever the fuck you want. just let him be like a Kardashian or something. That's not a bad That's life. That's what he is. Yeah. It's not a bad life. It's like, dude, can you stop doing the Dude, because yeah. it's like... So I'll watch the people talk about him. I'm like, God, you guys are so fucking annoying. Then I'll watch him like, we got to talk about immigration. Then it's just 50,000 people like, build a wall. And I'm like, all right, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah. It's bad. Those it's rallies crazy. are fucking bad. They're scary, dude. And he, when he does the five-minute mark where he's like, look at him. Look at him in the back. I That's know. them. They're liars. The whole, the whole arena turns around and boos the camera. <laughs> it's like, damn, dude. That's crazy. And everyone's laughing the whole time. Like, it's a fun fucking, like, yeah. Trump walks out. He's like, here we are. We did it. No one can stop us. <laughs> it's basically how we start the podcast every week. Like, damn, basically, yeah. we did it, dude. Everyone said we couldn't do it. Can you believe we're here for another rally? Trump, Sold out. Trump brought up the electoral... He brings up the electoral college mm. every night. Every What's night. What's his point with it? He's just like, look at it. We won. Here's the map. All red, baby. We yeah. did it. Yeah. Apparently, PA, the <clears> governor... <throat> so whoever's trying to oppose Tom Wolf came out and said he's going to stomp his face with golf cleats. Yeah, that but, is... But it was preceded with Tom Wolf trying to say like whatever this guy does for a living. I think he, um, I think he actually is a trash guy. He has a trash company. Oh, Tom Wolf. Don't came, fuck with them, Tommy. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Tom Wolf came at his like trash business, basically being like he doesn't do that. Trying to say he was a deadbeat and doesn't pay things. Damn. This dude was like, I'll fucking I'll kill you, dude. Fucking face I'll fucking kill place, you, dude. I don't know if you'll know about <laughs> independent waste haulers, dude, but it's uh, a. <laughs> It's a it's an industry yeah, associated I found out. a lot of times to organize crime. Yeah, I so found out, like... dude. Don't talk to them. Don't even try to say, let's not do this. Don't show any weakness to them. Don't yeah, acknowledge dude. that they exist. The trash men build themselves <laughs> Scott up. Scott Wagner. That's Wagner. the guy's name, Wagner? I think it's Wagner. He's the guy who has signs all along the turnpike that are like, Scott Wagner. I'll the stomp your face with greedy, God, The guy greedy politicians fear. Damn, Every time I see dude. it, I'm like, dude, greedy politicians are so fearful. Tom Wolf, dude, is a greedy politician. Every greedy politician so fears Wagner. I just saw uh, Chappelle talking with some other guy on I think it was NBC or CNN. It was Chappelle, uh, an anchor, some black dude, I forget his name, and then some like politician. And they're asking Chappelle about like all the, the you know, what Kanye's up to, all this stuff. And like when they asked Chappelle about Kanye, he just went, and started walking on the stage like I'm out of here, and he left. And then like he came out and was like, "Yeah, I fucking like him, man. You know, it is what yeah. it is." And then, uh, but the politician would be like, keep jumping in on stuff and be like, "People want to scapegoat people. This is just that the party that really helps people when it comes down to is Democrats." Blah 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 blah. And it's like you're scapegoating people right now, dude. Shut up. Yeah. Like I would just love for someone to be like on with a politician, but you're a fucking freak, dude. Like just talk like a normal person. Yeah. Stop. Stop doing your weird act as a politician. What do you actually think? Yeah. Having like I, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. It's like. You guys are fucking freaks. I think we're going to get shapeshifters. Yeah, I think we're going to get to a point where this is me. I'm doing Joe Rogan right now. Oracle? Whoa, 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 whoa. Where the cybernetic future. I love your split brain. We're like, I got a good idea. And the other part comes around the back and it's like, you're fucking gay. Dude. Yeah, dude, don't ever try to sound smart. You're fucking fat and gay. Uh, every time, dude. You can listen to any one of these episodes. If I try to say something intellectual, yeah, I'm I, instantly like, so fucking gay. I'm gay for this. But here's the thought. Um, same thing with movies, like the dialogue in movies, mm -hmm. like when it's corny. Yeah. Like when you're like, you people don't talk like that. Yeah. I think that's going away. Yeah. And then I think like, like the same way it used to when they're like, man, see, man. Yeah. Like people are like, no one talks like this. Yeah. And then it's still like dialogue in movies is improving to the point where it's like, this is what, this is a real conversation. Yeah, for sure. Nobody has a witty response every fucking time. Yeah. Nobody's charming constantly. Like all well, that. You see cops go to a, like a crime scene. They're like, whoa, somebody was, let's take a burger. Yeah. Like somebody yeah. was hungry. Yeah. It's like, no, dude, they show up and like, oh, Jesus Christ. Man. There's, there's a whole group of people who love that shit, man. Like. Yeah. Idiots. Yeah, but they were a guy like every fucking dude in every movie is like at some point, like a certain type of movie. 
hits his walk-in closet and there's like 16 watches, 50 button-down shirts, and it's just a whole scene of this guy getting dressed and it's like... Yeah, it's The Rock. That's real. Yeah, exactly, it's dude. It's The Fucking Rock. Who are like, I have so many... Let's check out my wardrobe. Look at all my cufflinks. All I have are suits in my closet. I love cufflinks and working out and I disrupt. Yeah. It's like, you're a fucking... You're in Jumanji, dude. You don't disrupt, you fucking loser. <laughs> Fuck The Rock. All right, back to this point. So, like, I think that's changing. I think it's like news correspondence. Mm -hmm. Like local news, that fucking cadence they use. Mm -hmm. That's got to change. Yeah, they're keep keep, it, they they got to keep it on it. And I think politicians are going to have to change too. Well, they no no, they're doing it because they saw Trump came out and it was just like, rather than they well grew out, he was just like I pay you, I pay you, fa da da yeah. da. Dude, they all were like fuck because now I'm noticing all of them doing it. And they're like he's a jerk. They'll say like jerk yeah. off or at, and they know it's like a political strategy. Now. Yeah. But even that will become a, a thing people do because that's becoming. Yeah. I'm watching politicians now. They. They're like, oh, we can talk to this now. They're like, oh, it works really well. They're all doing yeah, it. Yeah, when they fake it, you can tell. Like, oh, when yeah. someone fakes swears. Rubio will try to do it. When someone it, yeah. tries to swear, mm -hmm. like, uh, I'll, I'll never forget Kellen Winslow. He played mm -hmm. tight end. He was at Miami. Yeah. This is while he was still at Miami. He, like, leveled some dude from Tennessee. Yeah. And they're like, a, a reporter was like, it looked like he tried to hurt him. And he was like, hell yeah, I tried to hurt him. I'm a fucking soldier. And it just uh, came out yeah. like, dude, why'd you try to swear? Well, that's like me if I were to try to be like, what's up, dog? If I, people would be like, yeah, we can tell by, like, you got to master those whatever, those minute, like, tongue yeah. muscles to, like, not sound like you're just kind of putting on an act. When people curse who don't usually curse and they try to be cool with it, it's like, yeah, they always hesitate for a second, too. Like, he's just a fucking asshole. Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but, yeah, I think that'll change. I think hopefully we can get past all the all the BS, man. And just really we'll see. Unless cut we down dip to into people fucking, being honest. Unless we come into like a, tri a just a ton of right wing dictators, dude. Right wing dictators. China's a left. Keep it one hundred. China's a left wing. They're full communism, right? Full, yeah, that's uh, that's that's what happens when the left goes wild. Yeah, the Chinese will get you, and they'll be like, "All right, we're gonna ban Muslims." Yeah. Except they really do it. They're Chinese banning Muslims. The Chinese are issuing some real strict laws on Mus on on the Muslims, dude. Really, really? Yeah. Chinese. They have Chinese Muslims. Yeah, I think China might border Pakistan. I can see some Muslim overflow in there. Yeah, I think. That's red pill, blue pill. If you're like a Pakistani Muslim that needs to get out, it's like, do I go the way of Chinese or do I go the way of America? Come to a fucking USA, dude. Yeah, we'll at least have people to like pretend be to stick up for you. Dude. Yeah, you but... can just turn into a wigger and be like, yo, dog. I was like, yo, dad, what the fuck are they fucking challenging us for, dog? <laughs> I was just thinking about that, how he was like, and then... People that was like such a contrived thing of like, and then I'm a I'm a diverse and I have adversity and everyone got mad at me after people blew up the World Trade Center and they blame me for being a terrorist. It's, it's like, like, and then I was also the prom king, yeah, or the homecoming king, yeah. I was bullied, but I was also the homecoming king, yeah. It's like, nah, dude, you were the man in a rich school yeah. with a rich daddy. Yeah, shut the fuck Who up. Might have smacked you once as a kid. That's, yeah. that kills me, dude. I never forget that. What he's like, brown parents, brown parents. They hit. I looked it up instantly. I'm like, yeah, your dad was a chemist, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't hurt. Yeah. His soft fucking gloved His hands all day. Hands. He was he was probably in one of those uh, those things where you put yeah, your in arms a in and a, like a fucking <laughs> weird alien pulls your arm <laughs> off, dude. Yeah, the uh, dictators are coming, dude. It's gonna be sick. They're coming, dude. I saw Drake cashing in on the the leaving Kanye movement. No, really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you see what he came yeah, out and yeah, said? Yeah, yeah, He was talking Bro, some shit. Bro, did I not predict that? Remember, I, I saw that. We saw that triple cross or double cross, and I was like, dude, Kanye's doing this to his uh, leads. I was like, Kanye's probably the guy who leaked that to push a T. I said something Definitely. similar to that on a couple oh, episodes. Oh, wow. Ago. I was wow. like, dude, if that's how he found out. I watched that. That was such a. Did you watch that interview? With LeBron? It's LeBron, Kanye, and whoever else that other dude is. This is I love LeBron. I'm sorry to cut you yeah, off. Yeah. But he's about as corny and fake as it gets, too. When mm -hmm. he's like mm -hmm. trying to be. Yeah. It's like, dude, dude. Mm -mm -mm. So him and Drake sitting down and talking yeah. at the Baba Shop. Was that, was, that the, shop was that the Baba dude. Shop? Yeah, I think on HBO they sit in barber chairs and talk. And it's like, dude, can we just get. Well, then it's like, mm, mm, mm. It's just for I'm white people to come. The Twitter comments. And it, it's just like, you'll see black dudes like, that's the noise every black grandma makes when she knows you're in her business. And it's just like, you guys shut up. What? It's just bullshit, dude. What do you mean, would you guys that's shut just, up? It's just the same wait, 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 thing. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Let me stop you, man. What? What do you mean by, would you guys shut up? It's just, they're, these are black people who just want to, like, <gasps> keep the black experience one certain thing. And it's like, dude. You, Matt. 
these are black people who aren't for black diversity, dude. And I'm not for that. There you go. You got, you got out of that. You know what I'm nice. saying? Hey, nice. what is what it is. It is what it is, baby. Every grandma knows. No, no, no. It's like, dude, shut up, dude. Yeah. It's just hacky black comedy. There's hacky white comedy when the guys do that shit. Actually, hacky white comedy and hacky black comedy intersects pretty hard. Yeah. There's guys who are like, so my wife's Mexican. I saw the one dude the one time, and he was like, so you know we're drinking Coronas? <laughs> like, all right, dude, yeah, all right, you chill, bro. <laughs> He's like, those motherfuckers could party all night. <laughs> you know, they have those Fiesta, and it's just like, all right, man, Jesus Christ. The, uh, these are the guys I would bomb at these shows, and then the headliner would come out and do this and just crush. And I'd be like, well, all right, fuck this. The uh, I got triggered today. You on got triggered? In, on Instagram, I got triggered hard, what? dude. What? I got on, and it wasn't The Rock this time that triggered me. Who was it? It was, uh, it was just like I was a meme that was like... <laughs> There's a ongoing joke that white people don't have culture mm-hmm. that has become like ingrained, yeah. In like that's a fact, like that white people don't have culture. Okay, which is lame as fuck for that to annoy me, but it yeah, annoys me. I'm so like, funny. well, all right, yeah. Our culture is uh, everything. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, then it's like I read that the joke about white people not having culture, and then I looked at this black chick's Instagram story that was like. White people need to fucking chill. It was like a pumpkin spice fucking thing. Mm-hmm. It was just like, all right. I saw a watermelon. Yeah. I'll take it. Yeah. I'll take it. But then, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's funny to hear people constantly be like, white people don't have culture. Well, I was they, like, what do you mean by that? It's like, what, we, we're not good at dancing? Yeah. We're probably number two, though. Yeah. Racially, when it comes to dancing. That's true. A lot of the people who like, like, a lot of those like Indian <laughs> dances, they're not very good. They're, they'll no. dance. They'll throw down. Dude, we got Justin Timberlake. Fuck That's him. True. Great dancer. True. Got fucking Beebs. Beebs is out Is there. Beebs a good dancer? Yeah, he's a dancer. Shit. Yeah, some good white well, honky they, dancers. Dude, dude, got that people, dude that tap danced up and down the steps a long time ago. I'm talking Fred Astaire. <laughs> <laughs> dude, well, that's some cracks. great white dancers. <laughs> what people? What, Michael Jackson towards the end. We had him towards the end. Yeah. When people say that Trump emblazons white supremacists, it's like, yeah, but it also his presidency emblazons like the inverse of that. People are like, yeah. fuck. White men. It's like people weren't saying that shit before his presidency yeah. either. And then it gets me going. Yeah, well, I'm just, just a fucking racist daddy who was chilling. And then, you and then go, when I get on Instagram, huh? someone's like, "Fuck white people." I'm like, you know what? We're the best. <laughs> Do you like cars? Do you like electricity? Well, guess what? We did it. Well, there's a lady who I don't know if you saw her thing where she was going on in like Brooklyn to like these were just like European tourists. She's like, "This is our fucking neighborhood." Da, 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 da. Get the fuck out! And these people are just sitting there like, like the place has been gentrified forever. Yeah. It's like, you know, this lady was like, what the fuck did white people invent? Give me one thing. The Twitter comments were so funny. They're just like Twitter. Everything you're Which on is so right now. fucking annoying then. Because then the flip side of people are like, white people invented everything. It's just like, dude, what did you invent? What did you exactly? <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's like, what did you invent? Yeah. And what did you invent? Nothing. Go on. I invented something sick the other day. You actually invent. I do. But dude, fucking... this is why I like Kanye's idea of ideation centers is tight. Where you just put engineers in these buildings and like you can, anyone can just go in and just be like, dude, here's my idea, and they'll be like, yay, nay, and we'll put it. Because most people don't be know. Like, yay, yeah, yay, yay or nay, yay, dude. dude. There's no, you can't use negative. You gotta things. use Yeezy or Neezy. No, you can't say. And Kanye doesn't use negative language at all. Wow. So like when I'm at, so, all right, so did we go to the gym today? Yeezy. No, you got you got to <laughs> say we will. You can't say no. You said we will go to the gym. No, fuck going to the gym, dude. <laughs> well, <laughs> what if the gym is negative? The gym's negative, dude. Fuck that, the that's gym. your case. Easy would be like, all right, dude. Yeah, fair enough. I love not going to the gym. Here's, all I have is love in my heart. I mean, that's all you need. And I have dude. a very diseased, bad heart. You have a diseased heart. I got fucked up. Yeah, dude, from saying no to the gym. Uh, that's you true. Have a fat heart. That, well, you can you can have a, a a kneesied heart from doing too much gym, drinking too much Jack three days. True, dude. Here's my idea, though. I want to take put little lights in the ceiling like figure and this is where i i don't know how the lights the, in the ceiling the engineer, right. no no check this out so they're right on the corner where the ceiling meets the wall and i don't know how to engineer so the light distributes pro- properly but you could just come in and hit a switch and then change the color of your room boom or halloween time you could, so you'd upload like colors or images and then oh these you mean the would, wall like the wallpaper yeah it'll be like a projector it'll, it'll be change like, the paint of the wall. Yes, yeah, so you'd, you'd have like a white wall and then you hit it and then like boom, you'd have a perfectly green room, flip the dial, boom, your room's purple. Upload a creepy Halloween image, you'd have spooky spiders you could crawling have a spooky the wall. room? Yeah, you I don't know if people want spooky tight. rooms. For Halloween. Even if it's Halloween. Or you dude. could just 
put like a beautiful fresco on your wall, just psh, uploads a thing, it projects onto your wall. Pretty tight. It's a pretty sick idea. I think it's pretty tight. Yeah, I think that's easily done. Just Is it? no one d- does it. Why? You could paint, you could change the whole color. If you did it properly with the lights, you could change the whole color of the room in an instant. Pretty tight. All right. I think it's a good I idea. I fuck with it. I think it's a good idea. What do you idea. want to call it? If you had to if you had to think of a name for it, what would it be? BK lights, dude. Why? You, I, my thing would be Why BK. Like the British you know those night the light up sneakers? Oh you could walk. Shit. You would walk and you had shoes that lit up and your walls would light with your shoes as you were Damn. walking. That'd be tight, dude. Alright. That'd be tight. I'm on board. Yeah. Yeah. We did it. We did it. That's I mean that's just one of the many. You know what I vote regions. on that idea? What? Yeezy. Yeezy. <laughs> I vote fucking Yeezy on that. So you had a babe over dude, you fucking Hit a nice color for him. What color would you hit for a bay? Pink, dude. No, Just I'd be red. I'd red light everything. You Kill know, a cam. You know what it is. Dude. Yeah, oh, I'd, you, I'd laughy taffy you fucking everything. Fucking laffy taffy yeah. it out. I'd laffy taffy it up. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But yeah, man, I'm. I am stoked that. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm jumping back to the the Kanye Drake thing. It's like, dude, if the two scenarios, if Kanye did, you hear, you know what the whole thing was that like he invited him to record. Yeah, and in then, Wyoming. Like, and Drake, for some reason, opened up to him, even though he's had beef with Pusha T and yeah. made fun of Kid Cudi's depression. And for some reason was like, let me tell you about my secret son, Kanye. And like opened up to Kanye. And then Kanye was like, he gave him that beat for Lift Yourself or mm-hmm. whatever. And that was when he did the scoopity poop. So in this story, Kanye lured him, Drake, to, <laughs> to lured Drake <laughs> to Wyoming and was like, I got a beat for you. Gave him one and then put it out with him saying scoopity poop all over it. <laughs> and then told Pusha T all of Drake's personal secrets. And then they trashed him on a diss record. That's Drake's version. It also could be he got trashed on a diss record and then was waiting, waiting, waiting. He's like, oh, everyone's mad at Kanye now. I'll oh, sick. And someone was like, yo, just say this. And he yeah. was like, I, uh, uh, and I hate when he's talking. He's like, and then so we go to the studio. My man's right there. Did you see when he's doing that? He does yeah. So we fly down there. I'm like, all right, cool. And then we go down, and I'm like, Where? dude, it's Damn. like. I fucking love Drake. He's such a lamest, dude. He is. I he's, like Drake, though. His music's great. Yeah. I don't have a problem with yeah, anyone's yeah, yeah. music. But when they get on, and we're in the barbershop. And I can't like, watch that. That'll bother me so much. Did You You didn't see it? I saw clips, but it's I can't so watch the whole thing. It's fucking lame. It's got to be one of the corniest things. So, but it's funny, too, because our, like, Rap is like the only real music that kind of influences our culture anymore. Like it used to be like rock. Now it was like rock was like the shit in the seventies, and like dude, nobody gives a fuck. Yeah. Like what's Nickelback doing, dude? Nobody cares. Nickelback, they're fucking killing. They're sick as fuck, dude. dude but like, nobody gives. They've a fuck. opened for Trump on his rallies. Nickelback, <laughs> did they really? <laughs> no, but that'd be a sick concert. Nickelback might not. They're Canadian. Oh really? Yeah, they're a couple of peace loving Indian hating Canadians, dude. What? They got a serious problem with fucking hating Indians in Canada. That's because the Indians will fucking raid your camp and steal your fucking snowmobiles. They will. <laughs> but it's like, they got a serious fucking problem. Yeah, man. I, if I lived, if I had a Canadian farm, I would let Native Americans ride my snowmobiles, dude. You'd let them ride? I'd be, dude, they would take me in so fast. You think you would become one? Yeah, for sure. But I if you were a Native about, American, what do you think your name would be? If you had to... Little Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, dude. I was just watching Hostels. I showed dude, you it. I know. I showed you the beginning dude, of Hostels. That's fucking Ooh. awesome. I got to see that. Watch Hostels. It's on Netflix. It's fucking. I will, dude. You want to see some racist daddies? Those are some racist daddies. I wonder if that's. That makes more sense, though. Because that's. that's your exper- if that's like your experience of people who look different than you, you're just like, what are these guys? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, you pass your kid off as you die, and they're like, they have a kid, and they're like, look, dude. There's these fucking people out there. Yeah. Blah, 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 Both, blah. Bo- Well, that's the thing. It's like both sides committed crazy atrocities back yeah. and forth. Yeah. And it resulted in just a... Bad blood, dude. That's real loud. bad blood. There's still today a very palpable residue from slavery. Like, if you're just... And if you don't believe me, dude, if you're sitting around with a lot of black people, be like, what about slavery? Everyone's blood pressure changes, and you're like... God. Yeah, everyone's just like. Ugh. What if you sit around with black people and you're just like, I'm "Hey, you guys, even, hey, even, what are we having fun right I'm now?" I'm saying, How about like, slavery. When you pass a black dude on the street and you guys look at each other, just sneeze and say slavery. No, don't even say that. If you walk past a black dude, be like, <clears throat> "Slavery." <clears throat> no, no. I'm, no, no, no. That's what you're advocating. That's what I'm, advocating. <laughs> I'm just saying, even if you don't say that, 
from slavery, they're still like you walk past a guy and you guys are both thinking things in context. Yeah, of somewhat course. related to that. Yeah, but like you're like wondering how much of the sidewalk you're taking up. He, you know, you're like, yeah, am I just like, like I, I walk this... my, I'm walking my dogs. They're spread out kind of far. I'm like, oh, fucking bring my dogs in. I can't fucking clonalize this fucking sidewalk right now. You can't like, colonize. Can't, you can't, yeah, can't, can't colonize. have the dogs attack. This guy's yeah. like these white motherfuckers. All have why all these white people have dogs. Every white in my neighborhood too now, like every fucking every single white person has like dogs. So I'm walking yeah. dogs. I'm like, God damn, that's white culture. Loving dogs, loving dogs, guilty. sick culture, guilty dude. That's a great culture. True, dags. White, well, you, as white people too, you can't like get super stoked on your. Well, it's not. That's tough because it's really. Wait, like, what are you trying to say? You you can't get super stoked on like. White culture, you have to tie no. into like, well, you can't no, be you like, can't get, I'm, I'm <laughs> I mean, you in can. trouble for saying this. You can, <laughs> yeah. you can. I mean, you could, you know, go next year. There, the turnout was a little light in Washington for people who are super stoked on white culture, but yeah, but we'll get it back next year. You can fucking show up, yeah, but you can get into your like European, be like, even that dude is like. Your family's been in America for four years. You're not fucking Irish, dude. Yeah. Irish people don't think you're Irish. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Just stop. It's yeah. over. So. I used to when I was a young man. I, thought I used it was to be tight. all about Irish culture. Yeah, dude. I thought like, it was tight. Fucking Boondock Saints. I hated Boondock Saints. I, you were right. You were right. To I hate fucking, Boondock Someone Saints. show me this movie. There was, when did they show it to you? I was in high school, dude. And you hated it then? I drank 12 wow. moose, hot, moose head lagers that night. I was watching it through like one eye, and I was like, this movie fucking sucks. Good I heard about you. it so much. <laughs> that movie sucks. They took a turn that I didn't. I thought like, did those guys, did they punish those guys in that movie? Or like, were they like, they were bad guys kind of? I don't know what the fuck happened. I hated it. They were like anti, they were like two, just two badass brothers that oh. took on the mob. Or some shit like that. Think about the dudes who write those movies, too. And it's just Fucking like, dildo. Jesus Christ. I told you I was watching The Covenant, dude, with my girlfriend. What's going on there? It's the worst. It's the fucking worst. I might worst. top you on worst movie, but go ahead. You're not going to top me on The Covenant, dude. The Covenant might be... So we were watching Naruto. I'm like, can we please watch more Naruto? She was like, I want to watch The Covenant. Damn, you had your bae watching Naruto with you? She loves Naruto, dude. You know, you know why she loves Naruto? Why? Tell me. African Americans love anime. I know. That's part of their culture now. That they dude, it appropriated is. the shit out of anime. Yeah, man. Yeah. Love. A lot of, yeah, a lot of black chicks, black dudes love fucking Naruto and SpongeBob anime. and fucking anime. SpongeBob is fucking great. Love it. This is where we agree, because I used to watch Pokemon all the time. I always loved Japanimation, but I always would try to watch certain ones. Like, really? I love it, dude. I, I always thought it sucked. Manga, dude, I, I, I love that stuff. Manga. From a young, from the time I was a young boy, I came down. She's watching Naruto. I was like, "What is this?" And I sat in on like the fourth episode. Who was, was watching? Like, it? Instantly hooked, my babe. She's watching Naruto. Oh, so this so is I put, recently. Yeah, I just got into this. I put in my head, dude. This is like she was just sitting down watching Naruto. Watching Naruto in the morning. That's fucking crazy to me. It's awesome, dude. I came down. I was like, finally, we a show we can finally agree on because all the other shit. Wow, sucks. yeah. Bay's picking TV shows is an absolute nightmare. <sighs> dude, watch The Covenant, dude. It's so. Is it on Netflix? Shitty. Yeah, I think so. All right. I don't know. If, like, we watched it online. I'm sure you, there's the access to the Covenant is not restricted. <laughs> <All> <laughs> you right, you right. watch I'll the Covenant, find you'll it. find yeah. it, dude. It is so fucking bad. What is it about? It's about there's these like five families. It's supposed to like play off the witch trials. Now like five families survived the rich the witch trials, and they're like the the richest families in Boston. But they're secretly like still witches. They're still bitches. Still bitches, dude. And like they're at this like elite private school. And it's they're like the bitch school. It's like this. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. It's just like Sweet Valley High of like normies, no bitches. Okay. But then there are these five dudes who are so fucking hot, dude. Are they they're, powerful? They're so powerful, dude. How powerful? Like what type of spells will they cast? Their eyes get like real dark, and then they'll be uh, like, "We can't use our magic," and the guy will be like, "Why don't we just use it?" And then they'll be like, "We can't," and they'll like push each other and do stuff. Do they fight? Is there like a good bitch and a bad bitch? Yeah, of course. Dude. There's and like the there's like a bitch, super yeah. hot guy who's like real nice to women, and there's an other guy who tries to use his witch powers to like get pussy. And like, dude, he's such a fucking asshole, dude. He's sick. The of good him? guy's like, you can't. You, I'm so sick of him, dude. Did he use his witch powers to make women fall in love with him? So no, he bitch roofie them. He'll try. No, he doesn't. He doesn't bitch Cosby them, dude. He fucking. <laughs> <laughs> <Bitch Cosby. laughs> he'll just try to like pull tricks and you know like do stuff. 
Damn. Like he'll like do like a trick shot at pool and like it's cl- clearly witch power. I dude. almost roofied uh, baby girl on Friday. With what? A bottle With of booze. vodka? Just kept giving her rosé. I was like, hopefully she passes out so I can play NCAA. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the old reverse. I roofie girls to not have roofie. sex with them. <laughs> <laughs> I roofie them so that I don't have to entertain them. <laughs> That's a sick reverse roofie, dude. Which I guess is why you roofie people in the end. So you don't have to entertain them? So no, there's no entertainment. That's what <laughs> roofies are designed for. It's like, all right, don't pretend to be anything. True. Just but take what you want. There's also, yeah, but there's also dudes who probably love, or, or there's a whole other thing that's like, you're saying that as a cis het male with access to sex. True. True. There's a whole other aspect for people who don't have access to sex. Will be like, well, there's another right level to that where you can <laughs> yeah. actually have sex. I fuck with that too. Just being um, like, I could go to the gym and try to improve myself, you know, or this bottle of pills right here. <laughs> I could just kidnap a lady. I could just, yeah. <laughs> I was listening to Twenty One Savage today, dude. He like talks about dropping zannies and girls' drinks. He's bad business, dude. He's naughty B. Drop a zanny in her drink. Oh, bad business. It's like. Rape, yeah, sure. That's yeah, you're funny. raping. <laughs> you're, yeah, you're 21 rapists. Raping an unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, nah, dude, I'm just bad business, dude. I'll are drop you a bad zan- business? Oh, I don't always want to hear drop a zanny. If I was so, if I was drinking something and I was like, and I hit something, I'm like, did someone drop a zanny bar? My, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, <laughs> zannies don't dissolve <laughs> yeah. in like alcohol. Oh, they don't? I don't think so. Not that quickly. It's not like an Alka-Seltzer. It doesn't like fizz. <laughs> it's like a... Remember people used to talk about drinking Wu-Tang 40s back in high school, where you drop a Zanny bar in a 40 and fucking drink the whole thing. Oh, my God. I don't know anyone who did it, but it was just like a hot thing people would talk about. That, it was like if you drank a Wu-Tang 40 and smoked a personal Nug Blunt, that was like as intoxicated as you could get in That's high school. That's sick, though. Personal Nug Blunts I fucked with. Wasn't Wu-Tang a Blunt like inhaling the Blunt I at the know. end of it? Like you suck the whole thing in? Pro- Wu-Tang had a it. lot of sick fucking... They had a lot of sick like mythology around like how to do drugs around the Wu Tang Clan. Yeah, but we used to smoke. Uh, I guess it wouldn't have been a Wu Tang blunt. We used to smoke blunts in high school, laced with cocaine. Yeah, what? Bro. yeah, dude. There, there's bad dude, business. That was I was bad business, dude. Someone who, there was people who would lace like put a bunch of cocaine and weed in my high school, and you smoke and be like, God damn, I got that turbo, bro. And you have to go to rugby practice. You're like, I'm booked up. Dude. Damn, you would go to rugby <laughs> practice on coke and weed. <laughs> When I was a youngster. Hell yeah. Yeah, I smoked coke when I was young. <laughs> so you did crack. Nah, nah. <laughs> it's, you got to put like so much. You have to, the way people really do it is you take a cigarette and you empty a little bit. You pack, it's called packing a coolie. And you took like an inch of it out and you just put like a 20 bag of coke, press down, and you fucking smoke a 20 bag, then smoke the rest yeah. of your cig. Damn, dude, you're going to kill me in the apocalypse. Oh, no, you got so much sick drug knowledge. <laughs> dude, you, you smoke a coolie. <laughs> I'm surprised how many people do still do PCP. That's a drug. That's shocking. Like, that's yeah, a drug. I like that. I didn't realize that comes up a lot. What people are still ripping PCP in the hood, dude. People smoke fucking dippers and shit. Like they wet cigarettes and everything. Like, PCP comes up it's a party lot. Party time in the hood, dude. I didn't know people are still smoking PCP like that, dude. It's terrifying. Are they getting rowdy. Yeah. What do they do? They jump out fucking windows and shit. And, like <laughs> yeah, run down naked time, and dude. fight cops. When you see a video of a dude fucking a yeah, bunch yeah, of cops. Yeah. Walking through a taser. I didn't know. I thought people yeah. fucking people got to walk away from the PCP, dude. Yeah. You gotta lay Jesus that down. Christ, that's sick though. I mean, it's sick that people are still smoking. If I, wet. Was, in the, if I was in the hood, I'd be fucking ripping PCP. You think so, dude? I'd get naked right now and fight you, dude. I'd it, take PCP, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm laughing about rage. you smoking a vape pen and like laying in bed, like dude. A, it, you would literally though. You skip all that and you're like, I'm not gonna die. I'm the f- I'm a fucking god, and you're just walking around. You're like, why is the world disappearing around me? Like, I gotta fucking fight. The- why are these cops holding me down? You're like, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I accidentally smoked PCP. Multiple times. Or laced weed, weed laced with something. Really? In Texas, yeah, my whole rugby team. We bought weed. Did I ever tell you about this? We bought weed from a waitress at like Langhorn no, State, all you told Steakhouse. No, all you told me was that you guys got off the plane in cowboy hats. So we got off and the plane. I have hated you guys ever since. <laughs> so my whole, we had to play, we were, it was in, I think, Fort Worth in, te- in Texas. Damn, what's, what's Texas rugby, were they good? It was Nationals. No big deal. It was just teams from all over the country. Yeah, it was teams. It was kids who couldn't play football from all over the country. Yeah, it was the elite. Was, it, my, was, yeah. it, was, it was the elite subclass sub-bar, of sub-bar athletes. Yeah. athletes. It was the elite class of athletes who like smoked weed before their sporting practice. Basically. So at this point, it was like the best frisbee golfers in the world. Yeah. who played rugby. At this point, <laughs> yeah. it was pretty much like kids who could have made the team. 
Yeah, all but like, it was spot. all kids who like had. Remember how you had to sign that thing for football saying like yeah. you wouldn't do drugs? Was everyone who fucking crumpled that and was like, "Fuck that, coach." Yeah. We all played rugby. Hell yeah! And I also didn't get a lot of fucking field time freshman football. So, so. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I think that's the real qualifier for. Rugby. I was like a hundred sixty pound DN. It's like, did your coach hate you? Yeah, come right. play rugby. Yeah. I mean, I was sick at gym class wrestling, but yeah, so we played. Good at wrestling is. Yeah, I'm I was not saying you really can't be a good, good wrestler, but I couldn't. Again, people like join the team. I was like, nah, I'm just gonna play rugby. It's like we can smoke weed before practice and fuck around. It's really fun. But yeah, so awesome. we went. We went to my whole. Most of my team, we showed up in um, cut sleeve flannels and cowboy hats. So we got off the plane. It was just set bunch of seventeen year olds just walking around like, oh, what do you do? <laughs> oh, it's so funny. And everyone was dressed normal. <laughs> yeah, you got off in an airport, so everyone was clearly normal people. I know. I know. So we got off like, what's up, y'all? And everyone was just sitting there, just like, what the fuck? We're like, uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> oh my god, dude! If I, the I there was definitely a me that was hungover, <laughs> sitting there waiting for a flight. You dickheads got off. He was just like, "Fucking god, damn I it. wish that plane crashed." <laughs> oh, so we man. got off. We um, we played. We, we had like a, like a day or two of tournaments. Um, we I think so. We lost in like the semifinals or whatever it was. So we had to play the next day after that for like whether we we're in third or fourth place, and we were just like, whatever, who gives a fuck. Yeah. So we had the fucking dedicated sportsman. I was we going to say, there probably was. Yeah. <laughs> like, whatever. <laughs> so then that night, we went out to Langhorn. And st- we went out to like some steakhouse, whatever the fuck it was called. Longhorn. Cele- Longhorn. Something so like Langhorn like- <laughs> Steakhouse, dude. <laughs> so we went out to like some sort of place like that. And there was these fucking, we had a beautiful waitress. Dude, dude the women in Texas are fucking gorgeous. Nice. Gorgeous. So like, we're out yeah. there just fucking big, fucking, just a beautiful, big titted blonde dude waitress. Wow. So we're down there. We're having a good old time. And uh, I think me or someone else, we convinced, we were start telling the waitresses. It was like our coach was like in the other booth. We're like, we need to buy some weed. Where can we get it around here? And this chick's like, oh, like, here's my number. Pick me up after, you know, or like, I'll meet you at the hotel. So yeah. I forget how this happened. But uh, we, so after we got back to the hotel, me and my boy Skiavis, dude, we went out. Wait, Skiavis was on the rugby team? Yeah, Skiavis on the rugby oh, team. Oh, you guys only had elite athletes. Exactly, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you and Skiavi were in nationals? Yeah, dude. That this is my, <laughs> perfect for my theory. <laughs> <laughs> so we... <laughs> So we went to Scavi was the captain, dude. No, I was the fucking captain, dude. Oh, I was the captain, <laughs> dude. So I was captain senior year. I wasn't captain yet. Yeah, yeah. So these this chick picks us up and just drives us to God fucking knows where, King of the Hill country. And she's like, All right, it was the ounce of weed was sixty bucks. Yeah. So it was so we're like, all right, we put King we, of the Hill country. It, literally it looked like King of the Hill around me. Yeah. We had no idea where we were. These chicks were driving us. So I put sixty bucks in a mailbox, spin the block, come back, lo and behold, there's a fucking ounce of weed. So I'm like, sick. We smell it. I'm like, dude, it smells it smell like cleaner, like some sort of cleaning product. I'm like, weird. Fuck it. And I'm like, exactly. So we're like, whatever, we announce weed, this is going to be sick. Let's go back and smoke it. So me and like, I think I've talked about this before, but it was like my whole team, there was like probably 16 fucking kids, 17 year olds. So we all sat in the parking lot with an ounce of weed and people were rolling up joints. People were eating it and shit. Fucking like, fuck yeah. And like people were eating the weed. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. So we like smoke literally like an ounce of weed between all of us, just rolling joints back to back, smoking as we couldn't get like as hard, smoking as much weed as humanly possible. You know when you were in high school and you like smoked weed till like you passed out basically. Yeah. So we're fucking smoking and smoking. Finally, we're like, all right, let's go back inside. And let's get those chicks to come hang out with us. So I or like they were supposed to. It was already also, set. No, by the way. What? I didn't smoke weed until I passed out. Nah. In high school, I used to sit in a, I, used I would to drink, like, I used to drink natural light until I passed out. I used, I used to do both, dude. I used nah, to, nah, when I was nah. in high school. Nah, nah, nah. When nah. I was in, I li- nah. the first time I drank, I literally fell down in my driveway and passed out. <laughs> 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 but I remember, like, when I was younger, too, like, I would make sure all the windows were up in the, like, it had to be a hot box. I had to hold my head in as long as possible. <laughs> all right, yes, I, I do remember <laughs> so, it. Like, so yeah. we, like, we fucking smoke all this weed, and then I'm walking up the stairs back into the hotel, and I was literally fucking floating up the stairs and i was like oh my god this is not weed we just smoked and then i was we were all were in the room i was breathing a blue flame out of my mouth and like there was eight people being like ah, like i was breathing it <laughs> so we're like people were throwing ice at me and shit and i was running around this room it was like ah, it was like godzilla a flame a blue flame out of my mouth and then like i opened the door to get out of the room there was like the rest of my rugby team was like running around like army men having like an imaginary war it was fucking crazy dude wow so then these chicks come over the fucking the waitress and her friend slamming fucking hot and this other guy i'll never fucking forgive him such a fucking dork we're all talking and the the chick was saying in pig latin that she was trying to book me 
So I'm like, she's trying to get a hold of the captain. She's trying to get a hold of the captain. She saw the captain. Trying to hit the captain, dude. So then, like, so she this guy, I'm piglet? like, what? Are, you're saying like I'm horny, but like my more and something. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I'm just fucking like dusted out X-nay of my mind on the cum net. I was going to my friend, like or this dude, not my fucking friend, obviously. I'm like, Jake, what the fuck is she saying? And he was like, I'm not telling you. I'm not saying. It's like fucking loser. So then I'm like, all right, dude. So I'm like, I'm with these two girls. And I'm like, uh, they, one of them gave me a list, Listerine breast strip. <laughs> she was like, do you want one of these? I was like, what is that? And I put it in my mouth, and I was like, are you guys giving me drugs? And I freaked out, thinking they were, like, feeding me acid unknowingly. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? I started freaking out of them. And then my rugby coach came out and was like, Matt, what the fuck are you doing out in the hallway? And I was like, huh? And he's like, go to fucking bed. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, no. I was still trying to, like, bring them back to my room, but I didn't know where I was. I was in, like, a, a labyrinth of hotel rooms. I was like, oh, my God. oh, no, no, no. He's like, get the fuck out. You guys go home. You go to bed. Dude, so my was whole... Was rugby coach chill? He was so... We called a hooker to his room at one point. <laughs> we all we watched... We watched out the balcony, <laughs> and she came up, and we saw him, like, oh, geez, go the fuck away. It was so funny. <laughs> but, uh, so he's already fucking hot. You guys are the bad news bears, Because we called dude. a hooker to his room. <laughs> Yeah, you guys are the bad news bears, dude. Just doing PCP and hookers. You guys are like the 90s Dallas Cowboys, dude. This is crazy. So then, so then like, since I had been br- breathing a flame the whole time, the one kid who ate the most weed just laid in bed the whole time and was like, ah, they was freaking out, but they were throwing ice at me, so he slept in a bed of ice all night long. <laughs> he was like, I'm cold. <laughs> So the next morning we wake up to battle for third and fourth place. <laughs> How'd that go? I forget. I don't even know if we won. <laughs> but the kid who had been all morning, we're like, we're all laughing. Like, dude, that was fucking crazy last night. I was so fucked up. He was just like, I don't feel well, dude. I don't fucking know what happened. I don't feel right. Blah, 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 blah. So we're playing. I, I don't Like I said, I don't even know if we won or lost. But at one point, this kid didn't say a word all day to any of us. During the game. He came out of nowhere and hit some. It might have been the hardest hit I've ever seen in my life. He hit someone? Yeah, he fucking leveled. He fucking PCP leveled someone, <laughs> dude. And we were all just like, the whole game stopped. We we're like, holy fuck. And then he like slowly came to after that, but he just needed to level someone. That's sick. You guys took PCP and played rugby. <laughs> Until the next day. It was worth it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he fucking hit someone hard. I remember just sitting there just being like, holy fuck. We were all like, the next day just running around like, <laughs> That's good performance enhancing drugs. Yeah, dude, that was For definitely that team? was definitely a, yeah, that was. Kid nuts. But yeah, dude, we all got dusted in Texas from a young age and it was like and then one other time I smoked weed and I was like, well, I know what this is and I was like, You could feel it. Yeah, it's a horrible feeling. Damn. That's such a mind fuck because I mean you smoke enough weed, you would be able to tell. Oh yeah. Like if I smoked it and I was it was laced with something, I would be convinced it was just me freaking out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, and that, luckily, though, it happened to me when I was, like, 17. And I had no concept of, like, getting in trouble or something bad <laughs> happening to me. But the second time, I was like, this isn't right. And I was like, fuck. And then I was just like, whoa, the McDonald's sign looks sick. And I was like, never mind. This is awesome. But, yeah, <laughs> dude, now I don't really smoke much weed anymore. Really yeah, at you all. you smoked weed and it turned you into a moth. What? You were just oh, like, I, yeah, literally. Lights. I was just like... You were, like, trying to get to a street <laughs> yeah, light. Yeah. <laughs> but, no, ever since I started microdosing, I don't really smoke much weed. I don't like weed really that much compared to... You still to, microdosing? I yeah. thought you stopped. I did. I got back on the horse. You're back. The horse bucked back. Me, horse bucked me off. This, those supplements I was taking increases potency of weed, but I don't know that it increased the potency as much as it just makes weed Are you like, microdosing right now? No. Yeah. Uh, two days ago was my microdose day. Nice. Tomorrow is my next day. Nice. Yeah, dude. Okay, oh, be shit. Sick, dude. dude, I'm telling you, it's, it's yeah, like... Yeah, Matt's going to appear on a fair one on I'm taking Compound the trek up there, dude. That'd be tight. Yeah, that'll be fun, man. That'll be a blast. I'm excited to get in there with you. I know. I can't wait. Wait till you see the studio. It's sick. That's what I'm excited it's for. It's really fun. That'll be a blast. Yeah. But yeah, that's... uh, Dude, for some reason, weed started hitting me where it was just like completely disorienting i would it was like i'd feel it and be like oh god man this is a horrible feel. and then i would just i'll just be confused for like three hours like fuck god damn it I, yeah I, the only thing i have is the clock i'm like all right i know this will go away in four hours so i'm like oh, just nice. relax that's a I'll, nice thing to think of yeah i, I just chill. I, uh, I got high two nights ago mm-hmm. on the way back from ball from baltimore to new york yeah smoked a little on the drive after the show and it was fun until i smoked and then I smoked, and I'm sitting there looking out the window, thinking about who's going to be at my funeral <laughs> for like an hour. <laughs> you just might have too much of an Irish brain to smoke weed. You instantly just think of your bad news, and you're just like, Finne- you go instantly go to Finnegan's Wake, dude. <laughs> instantly. I was just like, what are, what's it going to be like? That's a yeah. sick thing to think about, though. And then I thought of how human history has been nothing but absolute misery for everyone. 
and how I'm lucky to live in where I am now, but how it's fragile. True. And how if it ever reverts back to just pure chaos, I'm like people just watched their family die back in the day. Yeah. People just it's like I can't. Yeah. Too soft. Well, that would fucking that would shape you up real quick. And then dude. fucking Soder's like, yeah, Ronald Reagan said if any generation's gonna experience the apocalypse, it's this one. And I was sitting there like, damn, damn. That's, that's everyone right. said that. He's Anyone right. who saw, I know, of course, forever. Yeah. But, like the, you know, well, we're gearing talking up. about these fucking right wing dictators coming in. Yeah. All of a sudden, I'm sitting there with one hit of a vape pen, just like the apocalypse is nigh. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fucking figure out how to live. <laughs> Yeah, that's definitely an untalked about side effect of weed, dude. Is thinking about the apocalypse. It's got me. I think I'm the, I've, but I kind of own some perverse level. You, fantasize. you look forward to it. I, I it. will die. And then I was like, then you just have to kill yourself. I'm gonna just I would, me and my. I thought of me and my family committing suicide together. No, you would have it to kill yourself. Fuck, it was a horrible time. See, I've, I've don't feel fit for this particular mode of life. You're I, not. You are not. I don't feel fit for this particular... <laughs> so I'm always fantasizing about like, humongous societal changes to where it's like, all right, now like like we could live in villages or do like vertical farm villages where everyone lives in like skyscrapers and like lives in like a, a jungle environment and shit. You know how they're talking about doing that? Building like yeah, farms yeah, yeah. but in skyscrapers? It's like, let's just go back to that, dude. Give me a fucking village. But, you know, that's what I... That's kind of what I fantasize about. Yeah, I was just... In my mind, again, this was me high. Yeah. I was like, if there's some sort of, a pot, like a nuclear holocaust. Not in a nuclear holocaust. Where like yeah. me and my family are just in our, and I was envisioning us in our basement mm-hmm. at my parents' house. Yeah. I mean, like, we're stuck down here. Mutate. Let's kill ourselves. Gotta go out and do it. Me and my you whole might, family shooting ourselves. It was fucked up. You might actually go out and be able to like deal with the nuclear fallout. My family? Your eyebrows might fall off. Yeah, but like you might be Thick eyebrows, dude. They would survive. (laughs) They would be the only (laughs) thing. It'd be sick if you finally died and rotted, but your skeleton still had eyebrows. My eyebrows are going to survive. Yeah, I love my eyebrows. (laughs) Every time I get a haircut, they're like, do you want me to trim your eyebrows? Like, nah, dude. Nah, what the fuck are you talking about? There's always like a stray hair that's long. (laughs) Keep it. Where are we at, dude? We got to be like 120. We're now 25, yeah. 125. How about that? Cheers. Yeah, that's what I can call it. We're done. Um, this will come out tonight. Whatever. We can drop it tomorrow yeah. morning. Let's drop her. Yeah, dude. The uh, oh, I I, I did Matt, tell again. You. Matt will be on a fair one. I'll be on, on there Wednesday. Compound yeah, media. That'll be sick. That'll be really fun. Me, be fun. me, Matt, and Tommy Pope. That'll be a fun show. Yeah, that's actually what I maybe thought about. Beezer on the couch. Ooh, yeah, Beezer's been up there. I have to tell you this morning. That's I was just walking my dog, just sober as a fucking judge, thinking about an alternate setup for people. Once people can't like work or like if technology takes over or like you just everyone's either on like disability or some sort of income and you just develop these areas for people to live that are like villages and then you give people like foam swords, laser tag guns and you just get to like reenact like old school art avatar warfare and then you just get all your basic needs met and like if you get laser tag three times or hit with a foam sword, you're just a LARPer. And then you can just LARP all day long, and then you go you, home. You live in a society where you can LARP all day long. That's all there is to do. You really do. <laughs> yeah, I in know. this society, I you know. but no, you, you can gotta, LARP you gotta, all day you long. you got to pay your basic needs. The government can do that for you. I could just go on, dis- I go on mental disability you could go on and just LARP all day mental long. Mental disability. But I need, a vill- I need a village to be constructed that like, it like sets up my need to LARP. Build it, dude. That's you got true. time. That's true. If you want this, I gotta, if you want this, I gotta dude, build my LARP go get it. I was just thinking how sick Zelda is, and if you could somehow build that, people would walk around like, do-do-do-do-do-do-do, go on like a little quest, that'd be awesome. This quest would suck. The quest would be sick, the dude. quest would suck. Dude, if you walked in the woods, walk. and there was just people with like paintball guns, it was just a no-holds-barred little Jurassic Park of just people with mental disorders, <laughs> <laughs> and everyone was paintballing each other, laser tagging, it would just be mayhem. Hell yeah. Foam arrows, dude, just fucking... <laughs> <laughs> if you get hit three times, you gotta go inside the rest of the day, you're done. Nice. And then sun a sun up the next morning. You come back. Well, out. I think what would happen is people would start really fighting. I think a retarded guy would fall out of a, a tree. A retarded and guy neck. would die, <laughs> or someone would rape someone in the village. <laughs> <laughs> someone, it would just turn into a medieval. <laughs> people would get beheaded for real. <laughs> That's so cool. The second you build a village for retarded people to fight, <laughs> it's not going to be friendly. Someone will definitely, it's gonna be someone will definitely get raped day three. <laughs> Someone's going to get raped right away. 
Not day three. We're talking hour three. <laughs> the whistle will blow. <laughs> oh, my God. The robots will have to come in and separate you. Someone would like, fall into like a three-foot ditch and get raped instantly. Someone <laughs> yeah, would fall into like, trapped. someone had like a leaf net, trap someone, <laughs> they would fall in. It would just be two guys, and they're like, <laughs> You'd get raped four feet underground, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm like, sitting there with my like, foam sword, like, why did I build this stupid place? <laughs> <laughs> it's the fifth time I've been raped. <laughs> <laughs> you getting raped in your foam <laughs> village? <being> raped, <laughs> <laughs> Again, this is very reasonable. You can do this. I could build this. You would and get I raped. And I still might, dude. <laughs> you I will might get take raped. one for the team. I'll definitely wear like a, ch- a butt chastity belt. <laughs> <laughs> If the Patreon keeps taking off. I'm going to wear, you know, one of those things that you put in the sink so, like, your food doesn't fall down. I'll put yeah. one of those on my butt. Praise the Lord, I was born to travel. Feeling like Slash in front of the chapel. I'm leaned back with the less pull. Shit I smoke is like cholesterol. Spill dressing on the vest at the festival, the best of all. Had a midget Puerto Rican at my beck and call. Best believe that they-